Hey guys, it's me, Poppy Rain here, and today I'm coming to you with a thread up update. Um, I haven't done one of these in quite a long ass while. We literally have not done one in I don't even know how long. So we're gonna do one today. Guys, there's been a lot of thread up updates. Hmm. So, uh, we have about mm. sorry, I'm just waiting for the computer to boot up. Um, first thing I want to say, as far as the ready up update goes. Is that thread up is kind of a slow process, honestly. Okay. Okay. So right now, so far, I have earned $95.73 on ThreadUp. I've sold 63 items. I have 41 items that are selling right now and 27 total kits. My current balance is $5.13. My potential earnings is fifty-one twelve. dollars from the things that are for sale, so I'll tell you. Okay, so kit number one. We have three items for sale. So we have a Romley bodysuit and a Shein bodysuit. Thirteen ninety nine and eleven ninety nine. And then we have a pullover sweater for fifteen ninety nine. A thrifted sweater for $15.99. Then we have a pending sale, which is a My Little Pony shirt that I got from Walmart. That is that it has been purchased. Nothing's been done yet. It'll be a dollar twenty-seven for that. The next one we have, let's see. Eight items listed. We have a thrifted shirt for $6.99, a pair of shorts from Walmart for $4.99, a belt from Walmart for $5.99, a thrifted sweater for $15.99, a dress from Daddy's Work for $15.99, a hoodie from, I can't remember if it was Romley or Shein for $14.99. A thrifted pair of shorts for $6.99 and another Walmart belt for $5.99. We have four pending sales. So we have a, they're calling this a dress. It's actually a shirt that can be returned up to $5.18 for $0.37. Cents. A pair of leggings that I actually bought off of here with another outfit. that I can get 30 cents for. We have a pair of Walmart leggings that re that is re allowed to be returned up to 514 for 37 cents. And then we have a pair of shorts that I thrifted for 37 cents that has been delivered. Next We have 10 items listed. So we have a pair of shoes my mom bought me for eight bucks. A LaLaRue shirt that I thrifted to resell for 
bodysuit from Shein for $11.99. Pair of leggings I bought from Shein for $7.99. Another La LaRue shirt that I thrifted to resell for $16.99. Another La LaRue shirt that I thrifted to sell for $17.99. cardigan I bought for myself that I don't rem that I kind of sort of remember that I thrifted for $23.99 another Romwe bodysuit for $12.99 a La LaRue shirt that I thrifted for $16.99 and then we have a the wallet that B bought me that the strap broke off of that I thought was completely broken we have that for $13.99. So now, I just want to let you know, too, though, that the shoe, like, the, what the stuff is listed for is not the payout price. And I have no pending sale. But this one is worth $18.31. Sorry, I didn't tell you what my first kit was worth. My first kit was worth, is worth $5.74. My next one is worth fifteen fifty three. We have eight items listed, one and one pending sale. So we have two boutique dresses that I bought off of Facebook. One for sixteen ninety nine, one for twenty ninety nine. We have a pair of sandal oh two pair of jelly sandals that I bought from Payless for eight ninety nine a piece cardigan and a, that I thrifted and a long sleeve shirt that I thrifted. They're both $14.99 a piece. A skirt from Romwe is reserved for $10.99. And then a um, what do you want to call it? TARDIS hoodie that I got from Hot Topic is reserved for $15.99. And we have one pending sale. Which is an Abby Dawn hoodie. I can't remember where I got that. If I thrifted it or if I bought it off Amazon. So I'll get two seventy for that. The item was purchased. So we have this one. This is worth a dollar eight for the one item they took. This is a dress that I bought off of here. It goes with the leggings that I bought. But I got rid of them at different times. So I'm only so that's selling for it's gonna sell for eleven ninety nine. Then we have this next one is worth three eighty four. There's two items that are up for like bidding. They're not yet listed. So there are two items that I I don't know what this item is. Oh two items that I thrifted for myself. So the card, so they're both cardigan. One is sixteen ninety nine, and the other one's fourteen ninety nine. Next, we have one item for sale. This is worth two seventy. This one. And this is a what is this? A dress I bought for myself. I thrifted for myself. Next, we have another one. There's only one item. This is worth sixty-one cents. This is a dress for eight ninety-nine that I got from one of that I got for Phyllis. That I thrifted for Phyllis. Next, we have, so this one is worth $1.81. We have one item still up for sale and three items sold. So the one item up for sale is a vest, a sweater vest that I bought for Little G. 
one of my memorial baby one of my other memorial baby twins so it's worth 4.99 the next i sold a cheshire cat dress that i bought from that i thrifted for a dollar 47 i sold it a long sleeve um silk blouse that my grandma bought me one year for Christmas for 15 cents and then I sold a purse that I bought from Wish for 19 cents next we have let's see this one is worth 8.58 one item has been or eight items have been sold. One item is pending sale. One item is listed because it, it's been returned. Two items expired, and I did not reclaim the expired items because it's five dollars for shipping plus tax. I mean, nine. Most of them weren't worth anything. Most of them were worth less than a dollar, so it wasn't worth it to me. So we have a Michael Kors sweater that I bought specifically to thrift, or I thrifted specifically to resell. Which is ten ninety nine. Then for pending sales, we have a oh a shimmer and shine shirt that I thrift that I got off of Poshmark for Phyllis, but I ended up getting rid of it. Then the eight item that I'm gonna get eighteen cents for that. That has until the fifteenth to be returned. Then we have the eight items that were sold were two dresses I thrifted for Phyllis. I got three twenty-six for one and nineteen cents for the other. I have a pair of Zumba pants that I thrifted for myself. That I got two sixteen for. We had um, a Shein, what is it? Like a lingerie set, top and bottom. They sold individually, so I got nineteen cents for the top and. Dollar eight for the bottoms. We have a tank top from Walmart, a um, pajama silky Star Wars tank top that I got seventy three cents for. We have this like short sleeve, like I don't almost like sports material type outdoor um like spacey themed top that I got from. That I thrifted for 15 cents. Then we have a tank top of No Boundaries. I guess you'd call it a tank top type shirt. They call it a sleepless top. That I bought from Walmart and I got 37 cents for that. Then the two items that expired were a pair of Abby Dawn jeans that I thrifted to resell. And a... Um... It was like a cropped, like button-up type shirt thing um, from Romley that I had bought that I ended up hating. Then lastly, we have these two ones. I have, so this is worth 35 cents for this whole lot. I sold one I have one pending sale and two items sold. So right now we have a Wonder Nation jumpsuit for 19 cents. I literally wore it. Not last Christmas. I think it was the Christmas before. Christmas. No, I think it was Christmas 2019. Or was it 2020? Can't remember. I literally wore it all of one time and hated it. I don't like rompers. I hate rompers. So that has until the 11th to be returned. So I should get paid for that either tonight or tomorrow. Then I sold a shirt that I had bought. A long sleeve shirt that I thrifted for myself for 16 cents. And then a dress that I thrifted for myself for 19 cents. Um that I absolutely loved the dress. It just like it 
fit weird. The buttons didn't say button on me, but it fit kind of weird. Then, last kit that's been gone through. We have, this is worth 309. I sold two items and I have two items pending. So the two items that are sold are a, like a peekaboo onesie, which is a onesie of like a dress. I bought, I thrift, I believe I thrifted it for one of my babies for 4th of July. So I think it's for smaller babies. That can be returned by the 14th. And then I have a pair of what they're calling sneakers, which are actually boots. Some of these things are mislabeled, which is really frustrating to me. So that's 19 cents, the onesie. But the boots are 18 cents. I thrifted for myself. And then the two items that sold were a North Face fleece jacket. And I really wanted a hot pink one. I think that was one of the ones I bought off of Poshmark. That might have been the one that I bought that I tried to return. They told me that it was damaged, so I couldn't return it. Whatever, it was a whole big thing, and it wasn't. For 216, and then a halter top for 48 cents. The halter top ended up in our clothes, and we can't figure out where it came from. We had a bunch of random clothes end up in our clothes. I don't know where it came from. So then, we go down. We have three kits that are still waiting to be reviewed. They should be reviewed June 1st. Uh, all three of them should be reviewed June 1st. Then we have 12 kits that have sold already. I'll tell you about those. So the first kit, we made 11.63. Eight items sold and three items expired. So from here I sold a dress that I thrifted for Phyllis for 19 cents. A dress I thrifted to sell Hot Topic dress for six thirty six, a shirt that I made Daddy buy me that was on sale from Walmart, and then I ended up hating. It's one of the ones that's like mesh on top and has like the built-in tank top underneath. For fifteen cents, we had a pair of shorts from Shein that didn't fit me correctly. For eighty seven cents, a shirt I thrifted to sell for eighty two cents, a shirt or uh, a dress I thrifted for myself for $1.92. A silk shirt that my grandma sent me for $0.19. Cents. And then another shirt I thrifted for myself for $1.13. And I had three items that expired. Those items were two dresses and a pair of PJ pants that I had thrifted for Phyllis. Then, the next kit I made $2.07 off of. Five items sold, two items expired. So here's what sold. A jumper dress I thrifted for Phyllis for 15 cents. A pair of Cat and Jack shoes that I got from Target for $1.27. A pair of baby pants, Carter's baby pants, that I thrifted for one of my dolls for $0.19. Cents. Another Star Wars pajama tank top from Walmart that I, for $0.80, for $0.27. Cents. And a Hansel and Gretel dress like a weird handful and girdle type i don't know i think that's what the character's supposed to be at i thrifted that for myself and i got 19 cents for that and then the two items that expired were a pair of pajamas that i don't know they came with one of my babies that i bought i don't remember a pair of uh, footy pjs and a shirt that I thrifted for Phyllis. Then 
Next, we had a, another one that nothing sold out of. They didn't take anything. Oh, no. Sorry. One item, and it didn't get taken. It was a pair of leggings. I can't remember. It says they're boost. I can't remember if I thrifted them or if I actually bought them from Walmart. They didn't sell. They expired. Then, the next kit, we made $3.27 off of. There was a cat and jack skirt that I made 39 cents off that I got off Poshmark. A children's place dress that I thrifted, I got 15 cents for that. A Disney dress that I got 22 cents for, that I thrifted. A Shein dress that I got $1.35 for. A Simply Vera Wang long sleeve top that I don't remember. So I'm assuming I thrifted it for 15 cents. And then a Bobby Brooks casual dress, which I just got one similar but in different colors. For a dollar one that I got from, I want to say, I think Dollar General. The next one I made $33.08 off of. I sold seven items. It was a squirt, which I don't know why. I don't think they took the top piece to it, but... They sold the bottom, the skirt. It was um an ugly doll set from Walmart. So that I got 15 cents for. A shirt that I can't remember. I think it was thrifted. Might have come actually from Rue 21. For dollar eight. A Derek Hart short sleeve t-shirt that I thrifted for myself for 19 cents. An American Eagle tank top that was that was in a bag of stuff that like ended up in our room that we couldn't figure out where it came from. So I got sixty cents for that. A stitch hoodie that I got me and B got matching ones. She doesn't even have hers anymore. From Walmart for fifteen cents. A Lila Molly New Orleans cardigan, which I got thirty seventy two for that I bought to resell. And then a cocktail dress from Chen for 19 cents. Next. Mm, next kit. They didn't take any items. In the next kit they didn't, oh, I sold one item for 30 cents, and that was a shirt that B thrifted for me. Mommy B. The next item, they took one item for $1.92. Sold one item for a whopping $1.92, which was a Forever 21 sweatshirt that I thrifted. Next up. Uh, the next kit, they didn't take anything from. The next kit, I made six eighty one. Let me see what happened here. Okay, I sold 11 items, and three of them expired. So I sold a... Shimmer and Shine tank top that I bought for Phyllis off of Poshmark for 19 cents. An old navy hoodie that I believe I thrifted for 91 cents. Cat and Jack swimsuit cover-up that I was using as a shirt that I got from I think Poshmark for 17 cents two dresses I thrifted for Phyllis one for 61 cents and one for 19 cents a cat and jack t-shirt that I thrifted to resell for 48 cents a denim jacket that pisses me off it's a adorable denim jacket it's not a denim jacket it's a raincoat that I wish I had kept for Phyllis, but I sold it. That was a dollar eighteen. We have a unbranded short sleeve t-shirt that I thrifted for myself that I sold for sixty one cents. We have a pair of trip NYC jeans that I bought to resell 
Got 216 for those. A, another Bobby Brooks casual dress that I got from Sam, Dollar General. Sold that for 16 tons. The other um, silk top that my grandma bought me. It's a Christmas gift for 15 cents. Then the three things that expired were a pair of pants and a jacket that I bought for Phyllis, that I thrifted for Phyllis, and a shirt I thrifted for myself. That was Foster Home for Ordinary Friends. Next up, we have this one. I made seventeen sixty-six. Sold six items and two expired. So we have a TMNT onesie that I thrifted for my babies because two of my babies are obsessed with TMNT. My twins, Rain and Sarah, for twenty-two cents. We have a jacket that I thrifted for Phyllis that I sold for nineteen cents. Another jacket that looks like one that uh drum major. Majorette would wear for a dollar ninety two. We have a dress that I thrifted for myself that sold for ninety one cents. We have a Hell Bunny dress that I bought to resell for a five thirty two. And then we have another trip New York City NYC jeans that I bought to resell for nine twelve. Then we have a scarf that my mom made me that didn't sell, and a pair of pants that I thrifted for Phyllis that didn't sell. And the last one we have, I made five fourteen on. I sold all three items. I sold a shirt that I bought from Shen for uh, for sixteen cents. A pair of denim shorts that they said were had signs of wear. They'd been worn one time and they were distressed. That I bought from Daddy's Work, fifteen cents, and an Abby Dawn jacket that I'm pretty sure I got from Amazon for four thirty six. Or 438. Now I'm going to tell you. So. Since I've done all this. I've purchased. Let's see. So I've I purchased a dress and. Um, leggings set. The leggings already sold. I'm just waiting for the money for that. And the dress hasn't sold yet. Because they listed them separately. I have another onesie dress that I probably might sell. Because I don't really have any dolls that fit in it. Halloween one that I'm trying. Because they told me they were large. Both of those items were larger than adults. Or in kids. They weren't. They're actually larger. I have a shirt. I have two sweaters that I sent back to them. Hoping they would resell. Because it was easier than returning them then I have a dress that I sent back to them to resell and then I have another dress that I'm debating sending back to them so in this last with this last bit of money I bought one two three four dresses a skirt and a t-shirt so the t-shirt I'm debating sending back to them because I don't love it the dress, I like the dress, but it, like, fits me kind of weird in the top area, so I might get rid of it. The skirt, I'm obsessed with. The jean overall dress, I'm obsessed with. If you've seen my overall style of dresses. The cat dress, I'm, like, the black cat dress, I'm 50-50 on. Don't love it, don't hate it. And the other dress, the pastel rainbow dress, I have yet to wear. That is my thread up update. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Bye.